What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy. Today I'm going to be sharing some Farigarath highlights for my Global Challenge 2 run. Farigarath is pretty cool. It blocks priority, it can set trick room, it gets helping hand. I'm just going full support on this team. I do have a little bit of special attack investment so I can do some damage with Psychic, but otherwise it's just here for support. But when it gets its support going, it can put in some real work. Let's check it out. Rillaboom, Chen Pao, Landorus, Incineroar, Raging Bolt, and Urshifu. All right. I think this is 100% a Flutter Coil game. It's a little scary because of the Rillaboom. Rillaboom is the scariest thing there for these two. Uh, I guess Ogre Pond is pretty good as well. Yeah, Ogre Pond's good against a lot of those. And then, stop priority with Farigarath? They do have a little bit of priority on their side. Which could slow down Fluttermane. Maybe I do do that. Usually I would take like Bolt, or my own Rillaboom to have my own priority. Bolt doesn't seem particularly good here though. Rillaboom, also not great here, yeah. Huh, okay. So it's a weird combo, but I think it'll work. Hopefully Torkoal Fluttermane can blow a big enough hole that just Ogre Pond can sweep. But, we'll see. Ooh, Murkrow. Spooky. Chen Pao Urshan. <laughs> Alright, how do I want to approach this? Sucker Punch plus Surging Strikes will probably take Fluttermane if I don't Terra. So I do Terra. And I Dazzlingly. Don't need the Helping Hand boost. Though a Water Terra Urshifu will live. Oh, but then I think I can Erupt. Because if they protect one of their Mons, Eruption will be enough to finish off the other. If they double into Fluttermane, which I'm expecting, they should both go down to a full power eruption after Dazzling Gleam. And if they swap something, they're leaving me at high health. And if they double the Torkoal, they double the Torkoal, whatever. Alright. Urshifu's gone. And it's Landorus. Landorus doesn't want to take this combo. This is gonna hurt. Go ahead and protect your Chen Pao, I guess, but you're gonna lose Landorus. Maybe they're gonna... trade both of these Pokémon to get, like, an Icicle Crash into Fluttermane? Oh, they just Sucker Punch. Which does less than half. Okay, that's good. And then, yeah, you just lost two Mons. Have fun! Landorus took that... Pretty well. Not taking an eruption, obviously. Bye! Alright, I said I needed to blow a hole, and a hole has been blown. They've got Urshifu. And they have Raging Bolt. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. Nope. That's not gonna work. Cause I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam, and I'm gonna block your Thunderclap. And I shouldn't be in Surging Strikes range. I, I mean, go for it though. Terra Water Surging Strikes, do it. That's probably your best bet. But I'm pretty confident I don't go down to that in the sun. And you'll live with the Terra on either of these. Just the bolt. Uh-uh. Not allowed. Hey, 
And Urshifu's gone, so no surging strikes anyway. Bye bye. Not faster than Scarf because of the sun, by the way. Okie dokie, dazzling gleam, and helping hand, and your raging bolt is dead. Oh, bye. <laughs> All right, why? Oh, it's Dozo. Tailwind Glamora, Chiyu Flutter, Dozo. I hate Don Dozo. Oh, with Glamora, I can't safely set up Trick Room. That's the worst, man. Hmm. Sorry, I'm going I'm going hard thinking mode here. Hold on. I have all the pieces I need to beat Don Dozo on this team, but I need, like, to bring five of them to cover all the different Don Dozo possibilities. I can definitely beat Don Dozo. In fact, oh, cool Blastoise. In testing on Showdown, I beat most Don Dozos. Still gives me a panic attack every time I have to fight one, though. Okay, this should be a free trick room. Are you speed booster? Are you in prison? Um, if you're in prison, you're in prison. If I fight a Don Dozo Tatsugiri team, with Imprisoned Fluttermane. Then I'll take the L on that one. Global Challenge 1, I lost to every Don Dozo. Oh, a Protect on Fluttermane. Okay. Okay. Here, have some Toxic Spikes. That's gonna be really bad for me later. But I get the flinch and I get the Trick Room, and I needed that. Meteor Beam does way too many damages. Okay. Now you go for your swaps safely and blow something up. Should I high horsepower? Should I wood hammer? I don't think Woodhammer into Fluttermane is bad. I'm, I'm mostly worried about them having Dondozo in the back, and if they have Dondozo in the back, Woodhammer is great. Alright, I don't think Psychic should knock that out. I wish it would, though. And that was a crit. Yeah, I don't think I can EV to kill that. Oh, you're not Meteor Beam. Okay. That's a bit of good news. Mortal Spin. Well, everything's poisoned. Gonna have to deal with that. But it could be worse. Woodhammer knocks out like every Fluttermane. I don't know about 252, 252 Bold. But yeah, that one's gone. A no swap tells me that it is Dondozo in the back, right? But now, of course, they just protect Stall get all the poison chip they want and then win that way assuming it is Don Dozo it is Don Dozo okay at least I'm playing the right match now I can pretty they can pretty easily double protect 
they can pretty easily terastalize their Dondozo. A crit psychic did like 90%, so a regular psychic should do over 50. Okay. And yeah, I have to throw a wood hammer, but like I know you're gonna just resist it in a second. But I can't really do anything else. This would be a good time to have psychic noise. The team that inspired the team I'm using right now did have psychic noise on the Farigarath. Yep, there's all your boosts. And then, could you not, Terra? That'd be cool. Yeah, you're gonna do it, though. Uh, usually grass, um, dragon would be nice to see. I would love to see dragon. Fairy. Fairy, fairy's fine. Fairy's fine. I'm cool with fairy. I can win this. I don't, I don't win this, but I can win this. I haven't lost yet. That was okay. And just order up. Got it. With an attack boost. And a leftovers. Okay, we set Trick Room. We use two Psychics. Two turns of Trick Room remain. They can at least easily stall out those turns of Trick Room. With a Protect or two. Well, not two. But two turns of Trick Room means two turns of Grass. Which means two turns of I'm Not Afraid of Earthquake. In fact, you have Glamora. Plus three order up shouldn't knock out Raging Bolt through Terra. It's a shame I have to show this play. I pretty much have to do this. Oh yeah, no protect. Love it. Great damage. And a para? No, that could mess me up. I don't like that. I could mess up my trick room shenanigans. Oh, citrus berry. Okay. I was wondering what was going on there. The citrus berry was behind... Raging Bolt. It was grass and leftovers before Raging Bolt. So that confirms that they are now, unfortunately, moving first inside of Trick Run. That could be good for me if they protect here. I could just Thunderclap Psychic. Helping Hand Thunderclap is so much safer. Yeah. And then if they do pull a Protect here... They don't. Okay. It was probably in their best interest there to attack. Because now Trick Room and Grass end. But still having Fluttermane in the back? This feels great. I'm actually quite happy with where I am at the moment. I don't see Tatsugiri. I should have put Raging Bolt on the left. Well, that wasn't really my in my control. I didn't have control of who they knocked out first. Then it's just Glimora. 
and Tatsugiri. Fluttermane should be able to clean up everything. I think I want to Gleam and Thunderclap the Glamora. Yeah. Alright, good luck getting out of this one. It is just a spiky shield. Okay. It's not over. Thunderclap fails. Dragon Pulse from Tatsugiri. Doesn't knock out for Rigorath. And then good damage. Thank you for Rigorath. You did great. Okay, Tatsugiri is slower or is choiced into Dragon Pulse. I think I want to Shadow Ball into the Glamora and Thunderclap the Tatsugiri. They just they get the spiky shield double, so I did Thunderclap the right slot. And at half health, this should knock out. Yeah, great. Now their win con- they already did the double protect play. And I think Shadow Ball knocks from here, so their win condition is getting a... Do dose of deck and protect. Pretty sure at that point, if every person alive today has been playing Pokemon since the beginning of the universe, it still never would have happened. So I think this is in the bag. Good game. I beat a Dozo! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> okay. Oh, Slay King, Weezing, Regigigas. <laughs> I do rely on my abilities. This is gonna be devastating. Okay, Registeel, Cresselia, Incineroar. Good lord. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Uh, Torkoal's useless, because I can't set the sun. But I could set Trick Room. And still sweep with Torkoal without the sun. In theory, that could be done. So I like that. I like leading for Rigorath. Fluttermane should be... The lead, maybe? I like Fluttermane. It, it, it's my only thing that has a chance of blowing up one of those normal-type monstrosities. And then I guess I'll bring Torkoal anyway. Because it could do well under Trick Room here. Rillaboom and Ogre Pond don't like seeing Incineroar. I have to know Ferrigraph doesn't block the priority either. As long as Weezing's on the field. But then I think I need Bolt. I think I need Bolt specifically for the Registeel. If it sets up defense boosts and goes Terra Water, which is normal, then Torkoal can't beat it. Fluttermane gets out code by it. So I need Bolt to handle it. Okay, good card. Festival. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. You got the sickest team I've seen. This is so cool. Uh, does Gigas go down? Regigigas probably goes down to Moonblast. It depends on the spread. 
but if I commit everything to it, I should be able to knock it out. Honestly, Helping Hand Shadow Ball might be able to knock out Weezing, but... That's riskier. They could protect. Yep, no protects. We get the Moon Blast. How'd you train? Offensively. Hey, hey, bye, Gigas. Phew. That's a big turn. And go ahead and taunt my Furigraph. Yeah, I know. I wasn't even trying to set Trick Room. It's all good. It is all good. It's not all good. I mean, I, I just lost my helping hand, dude. Alright, uh, you probably have a poison move going at Fluttermane. I could bring in Bolt for the Registeel eventually. I could double Weezing here. Do I want to give up? My Fluttermane? Maybe I can I can sack Torkoal. Yeah, I bring in Torkoal. It won't take any damage from Heavy Slam. And if they don't double into it, then it threatens their Registeel. Even without the Sun. And they just protect Weezy. No, okay. And they set my defense. Okay. That's fine. I got two super effective moves flowing at ya. I'm not too worried about your defense boosts, I have all special attackers this time. I imagine I'll get hit, right? I should interrupt. Or should I? Plus two body press. Maybe a sludge bomb. I do expect eruption to be weaker than flamethrower, but it's spread. And if they double into my Torkoal, I mean, he was a sack anyway. No Terras from them. Yeah, they did double the Torkoal. Darn. Good damage on Weezing. You got a berry, it's fine. You're fine. <laughs> well, that wasn't really damage, was it? Uh, does Torkoal go down here, or do I get another turn with him? Okay, you have to throw a move at Torkoal. Why not just body press and protect? Frigraph's taunt is almost up. Yeah. I'll flamethrower the Registeel. Should have done that in the first place. I didn't know they would double and that I would live. I assumed a double would knock me out. Okay, and then you just body press Torkoal, which is honestly fine. No, you don't. Body press for Rigorath. You're gonna let me get a flamethrower. Bro, why are you letting me get a flamethrower? Maybe it won't kill you without the sun, but it's gonna hurt. Yeah. You did not like that. Alrighty. Yeah, it should be Bolt. I wanted to go into Fluttermane, but I don't think Helping Hand Dazzling Gleam picks up Registeel there. I'm just gonna Thunderbolt the Registeel, Psychic the Weezing. Registeel just protects, that's fair. Get a hit off with your Weezing before it goes down. Just a Sludge Bomb though. And no poison. Yep, we're fine. 
Weezing's finally gone. I have abilities now. Not that any of them will trigger because I don't have Torkoal. I never got the sun. Okay, Registeel's not in a great position. But if you can position something... You can't fake out, which is great. And Registeel just, just, just protected. Thunderbolting that. Presumably, Choreograph will go down to like a knockoff or something. I can't risk Registeel living. I'm gonna helping hand the Thunderbolt. This is probably overkill. I don't think I need this. Based on Torkoal's flamethrower, that thing has a lot of special defense. Alright, that's gone. Now just knock out for Rigoraf. Make this easy for me. Knock it off on Raging Bolt. Ugh, fine. Thunderbolt. Helping Hand. And battle's cancelled. Good game. Very cool team you got there. Sorry I had to blow it up. Alright, Indeedee Hatterene, Rock Ogre Pond, Torkoal Gallade, and the Not Blood Moon Bear. I've seen this team a hundred times. Never know exactly what to do about it. Having Torkoal in the back is always good. I think Fluttermane for Rigraph is the way. And then probably Rillaboom. Reset terrain, give me priority later. I think that's the way. And that's a good team. I've seen this team like four times now. This exact team. Different order. But these six is really strong. Hmm. Bolt doesn't feel great. Ogre Pond. Doesn't feel great. These are the right four. Flutter's on the left. Good. You want Fluttermane on the left because it's choice. And there was one situation where I got imprisoned. And if you're on the right with a choice item, and you click battle, and your move is imprisoned, you just go straight to struggle. But if you're on the left, you notice that it's struggling, and you have an opportunity to swap out. They don't have a trainer card. Extremely niche, I know, but it did happen to me. With this exact lead, too. Well, not their exact lead, my exact lead. Alright, incoming, uh, Wide Guard Ivy Cudgel. I know you want a Wide Guard Ivy Cudgel. I don't want to lose my Fluttermane right away. Yes, this will give you the opportunity to control the terrain, sure. But yeah, I, I know this. I know what you're doing. You're not slick. Wow. That was a lot of damage. And that was not a lot of damage. Oh, no. Ah. <sighs> I got a read right, but what does it get me? Nothing! Okay, I can fake you out, or you can bring in Indeedee. Thank you. I get my berry. 24 down to 91, that's 124 plus 9. I can live the next one. Should 
Surely they see a grassy glide coming, yeah. Well, you can't get every read right. Oh, they're setting up Trick Room. Big mistake. You did not time that correctly. Now, the having wide guard is annoying. And having Torkoal potentially is very annoying. Mm hmm. All right, let's get the speed tie. I got the speed tie last time. Last time I fought this kind of team, I got the speed time. But I'm min speed, there's a chance they're not, for whatever reason. Maybe they just want to be one point slower than Amoongus, I don't know. But let's see. No swaps, which is scary. I would have rather seen, like, Ndidi come in. Oh. Mmm, they protect. My Torkoal doesn't have Protect. I can't do that. Well, now they erupt. So I have to get the Speed Tie. I know how. I no longer have the option of losing the speed tie and still being okay. Ooh, I got it. One HP. The eruption does nothing. It does crit my Torkoal, though. Sacred Sword my Torkoal. Mm, not the best. I don't think I have the pieces I need to win this. I think as great as this has been, it's over now. They could predict my Fluttermane to protect. I don't think they would. I think they've got this in the bag. But let's see. Um, I guess it would have to be a Psycho Cut Heat Wave. Weather Ball. Cool move. I'm slower than your Gallade. Of course I am. Well then, uh, attack the Farigarath, please? No. Yeah. Ow. It's the turn I earth powered their Torkoal. I should have reversed Trick Room. Yeah, well, well played. Good game. 
I even got this, the speed tie on Torkoal and you still got me. This is a good team though. This is the way to play hard trick room. These six are hard to beat. Sacred Sword finishes the game. And a crit on that. That's not even the high crit one. Okay, a rain team. Politoed Kingdra, Archaladon, Ogre Water, Incin, and Tornadus. Two reliable ways to set up the rain, so Torkoal will never be the lead. <laughs> no way. Fluttermane. Trick Room isn't bad. They do have a pretty slow team, but Torkoal isn't very good. I need, I, like, I need to have Torkoal, but it's not like super good. Raging Bolt is super good. Like, maybe I get up Trick Room and sweep with Raging Bolt. Or just sweep with Raging Bolt right out. Obviously, I want Torkoal in the back. And then, who's the biggest problem for Bolt? Mm, Archaladon? Is this electric? What's my answer to that? Not really many answers to that. Fluttermane could get blown up. Rillaboom could get... Doesn't do much damage back. Ogre Pond's not bad. Ogre Pond's a little bad. Without Rillaboom? Yeah. Um, I guess... Rillaboom gives me the most space. I think that's the way to go. Fluttermane isn't actually that great, unless we have weather control. But let's give it a shot. Hope the sun can beat the rain. Ooh, shiny Salamence. Good card. Alright, what you got? Kingdra and Water Ogre Pond. I'm pretty content to trick the rooms and protect. They could try to throw a nuclear attack at Farigarath, double into it with like Water Ivy Cudgel and a big move from Kingdra. But then I could just Terra Electric and Thunderbolt something here. I plan on clicking this button, Terra button next turn anyway. I think it's fine to do it now. Don't want to thunderclap because they have the follow me pressure. It's Kingdra. And it's water. Okay, good thunderbolt. Uh, in that case, follow me seems pretty likely. Unless they're reading me to not attack with bolt. Surf. Oh, that's a cool tack. Surf next to Water Ogre Pond. That's very cool. And a crit on Farigraph. Wow, that's so much damage. Holy moly. And then a Horn Leech. We just barely live. Woof. But we get the Trick Room. <laughs> and to get rid of their Terra. Oh my goodness, that was too much damage. Now show me like, Politoed. Politoed is what I wanna see here. Cause then we can go to Torkoal and blow something up. Our Chaladon, not who I wanted to see. I can preserve for Rigorath by bringing in Rillaboom.
which I think I will do. And then I'm just gonna protect Bolt. Our Chaladon could be slower than my Bolt here. It's naturally faster, but I have a good amount of speed. So I'd like to get a fake out Dragon Pulse into it or something like that. Oh, just a Dragon Pulse into Rillaville. Okay, took that pretty well. And you horn leech that guy. Got it. Okay. Well, if all you have is Dragon Pulse, I'm not that scared, actually. I might... Woodhammer Ogre Pond Dragon Pulse Archaladon. That seems good. And they forfeited? Okay. I'll take it. I Was that over? All right. Chen Pao, Entei, Raging Bolt, Urshifu, Amoongus, Flutterman. I feel like I've seen these six before. How did I beat them last time I saw them? Uh, with Trick Room, right? Raging Bolt, Farigarath, Torkoal. Fluttermane seems really good. If we can get rid of Entei. So that's what we gotta do. All special attackers. So if they wanna bring all their Snarlmans, mm, it's not great. Entei's got a good matchup into this team, honestly. I wonder if there would be a way put like a Terra Blast somewhere. I could mess up Entei's day. Rock Terra Terra Blast on uh, Rillaboom. Something like that. Nah, you have to just get burned by Sacred Fire. Doesn't make a difference. Oh, and they like Entei. They got a shiny and a normal. Cool card there. And they brought the shiny. Good on you. And they brought both of the things that can snarl. Bad. I'm gonna commit fully to electrocuting their Entei. Entei is the problem. Raging Bolt isn't the problem. It's a problem, but it's not the problem. If I get Snarled, I don't think this combo gets the KO. If I don't get Snarled, I think it kills through Assault Vest. So it's a Sacred Fire. And I'm a relatively fast Bolt. And they got the burn. Furgraf, you're trying to be the tallest thing out here. You're just not cutting it. And we are faster than their bolt. Good to confirm. Good thing I didn't put a trick room. And Entei's gone. Yes. Now show me not snarl. Not snarl would be great right now. Yeah. Not a fan. Not a fan of that. Mm, I, don't, I don't like that. Now bringing in Torkoal wouldn't even boost my correct stat, I don't think. Somebody's festive. Abungus! Oh yeah, where's my grass type? Eee. Yeah, I'm doubling Amoongus. Uh, they could probably take out Farigarath. They'll probably spore something. They're just rage powdering anyway. 
see what a minus one Dragon Pulse does. About a third. That's not bad. They throw another Snarl, but my Bolt dodges. Yeah, I think I'll bring in Fluttermane. That'll put a little, uh, let a little fire under Bolt. Then I want to just double in to the Moongus. Is that a misplay? I don't think so. I hope not. They're probably an Assault Vest Raging Bolt. It's going to be really hard to knock out. <clears throat> and if one of my Pokemon goes down here, I'm in big trouble, because I need to be able to swap back out. But I can't really double into Bolt, because they could just Rage Powder. Like, they don't know that I tried to Dragon Pulse their Amoongus. They just know that I Dragon Pulse. <laughs> Fairy Terra is fine. Shadow Ball. I would love for you to not be Citrus Berry. Ah! Uh, I would love for this Dragon Pulse to be enough. Yikes. Who's going sleepy sleep? Fluttermane's going sleepy sleep. I absolutely have to get Fluttermane to wake up. They clearly think Fluttermane's the bigger threat. <clears throat> so Fluttermane needs to be my endgame, so I need to burn as many sleep turns as I can. Okay, good. Just a Dragon Pulse. And then what did Amoongus try to do? Sludge Bomb the Fluttermane. Okay. Now I can get Fluttermane out of here to switch up moves and get its special attack back. I've only burned one sleep turn. Uh, I might have to hope that that's the only turn of sleep I end up with. This should boost Raging Bolt's one of its defenses. Physical defense, yeah, that's normal. But it'll also boost their special attack. Okay, we take Amoongus. That's great. With a crit. Oh, if I knew I was getting a crit, I would attack the other thing. <clears throat> and is this just another snarl, or are you actually gonna take that out? Yes, you are. Take it out. Okay. Now we rely on the sleep turns going my way. Except it doesn't matter because I'm in Thunderclap range. How did we get here? How did we end up in this position? Oh, they didn't attack the Fluttermane? You didn't use a priority move? You're telling me that if I had gotten the one turn sleep, there was a chance.
That is so sad. Okay, Kairoshi TV, you've got hard trick room. The hardest of trick rooms. An extremely hard version of trick room. What scares me about their hard trick room is the possibility of wide guard delay. Well, the almost absolute assuredness of wide guard glade, actually. I could bring for Rigorath in my lead. Having Rillaboom is great to get rid of their terrain, too. Do I even need to do that, though? For uh, just having for Rigorath will confuse them, make it harder for them to just do the trick room. What do I have for Rock Ogre Pond? Rock Ogre Pond goes crazy. I guess I do want Rillaboom. And maybe Bolt? If I can change the terrain, Bolt can go crazy. It's so freaking weird not bringing Torkoal, though. But Torkoal, what would it do? It would boost Bolt's power. It would potentially counter sweep under Trick Room. Hmm. As badly as I want Bolt, I need Torkoal. Bolt cannot handle their bear. I cannot handle their bear with Bolt. And they've got a good trainer card. Good. Hatterene Ogre Pond. Alrighty. Do I lose Fluttermane to a Rock Ivy Cudgel? Does it matter? I could Helping Hand Dazzling Gleam. Which would actually have the benefit of not knocking out Ogre Pond. Might knock Hatterene. That's a calc I should know better. I should know the Dazzling Gleam into, into Hatterene by heart by now. It didn't happen much in practice, and when it did, I crit. Okay, no Terras at least. A Protect from Hatterene. They're trying to call the trick rooming the trick room. That's fine. I assume I live an Ivy Cudgel if it doesn't crit. Oh, uh, well, he crit though, so, you know. You know how that goes. Awesome. I guess I bring in Rillaboom. Wouldn't be easy to bring in Torkoal at any point. But this might be the time to do it. Hmm. I need to get something big correct. Helping hand one hammer. Okay, Ogre Pond goes. DD comes in. I 
and they Terra into Psychic. They're going straight for Expanding Force. That must be what they're doing. Okay, I really need this KO, Rillaboom. I know with the grass, you would get it. But we don't have grass right now, so. Yeah, yeah, crit for a crit. That's what you get. Fair is fair. <laughs> and that's not fair, it's fair. Yours has a high crit rate. Hee 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 hee. Okay, we have we know you have a one HP ogre pond. Okay, you're just gonna bring that out. And then in the back you probably have I wonder if it would be Torkoal. Torkoal of your own might be bad. If I swap in my Torkoal, I do risk losing it. But they know I'm crazy. They're gonna want to follow me this time. That's my take. Oof. It's a good match. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> Torkoal, you are at great risk at the moment. It's an Indeedy follow me. Then it was an Ivy Cudgel, wasn't it? Oh, into the giraffe, who cares? You don't even crit that one. Bye. <laughs> okay, I can take Terrain and bring Rillaboom in. They've got Gallade. I kind of want to double the Gallade. It's not like they're going to use Follow Me Trick Room. There's a non-zero chance they wide guard, though. Oh, they're going for blood. They're helping handing. They're eliminating Torkoal. No, they're not. You tried, though. Flamethrower should do it. Come on. Yes! Yes! Bye, Gallade. Haha. <laughs> And now we just beat up on Ndidi. If you have Dazzling Gleam, you might not even be able to knock out Torkoal. Uh, what's stronger? A Psychic with Stab and Terrain? It's 87.75. Yeah, Psychic is stronger. Battle was cancelled. Well, yeah, it should have been. Whew! That was fun. Good game. Alright, we're back. You made it. If you made it this far through the video, you probably liked it, so why don't you help me out by leaving a like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Anyways, there's the rental code for you. Try this team out if you like it. And I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.